In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the loft tool and the offset work plane tool. To get started, we're actually going to draw a cylinder. And now in previous videos, just to kind of accelerate through here, if I make a new sketch on my top work plane, and then if I go ahead and draw a circle, I can confirm this sketch, and I can do something like extrude it and turn this circle into a cylinder. Now there's another way to do the exact same function. Each one has their own specific reasoning. If I go back to my top sketch, and if we call this bottom, I'm then going to go ahead and again draw a circle. Let's just make it three inches in diameter here. Back to isometric view. And now what I want to do is I actually want to offset my work plane. And what I mean by that is we have the typical work planes every time we start. We have top, right, front. You can make additional work planes. So if I were to right click the top work plane and, and say offset, notice how it's now drawing another plane and I can set the height. So I want this to be say four inches above my top plane and I can call this top plane offset. And I can go ahead and then confirm that and now use this as a work plane. So I can click on this and say new sketch. And we're going to call this top. And what we're going to do on the top offset plane is make another circle that's also three inches in diameter. Now I can use what's called the loft tool to actually create a structure or model between these two sketches. So if I grab the loft tool, I can go ahead and click on my sketch profile, so the top and the bottom, and it's going to go ahead and create a cylinder between those two. Kind of similar to the extrude tool, if you will. And like I said before, there's different time and place when you'd want to use this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete all these things real quick. And now on the right plane, I'm going to draw what I'm going to call a transom, or um, like the back of a typical rowboat here. Let me just draw it out with my line tool. And I didn't do the greatest job here, so let me fix this up with some basic dimensioning. Let's see. Let's make this 1.5. Let's make sure that this dot, make this 1.2. And we'll make sure it's even on both sides. Just some basic dimensioning here. sure everything is nice and symmetrical. And yes, I could have just used the mirror tool to do that, but here we go. So this is the back. And I'm gonna go back to my isometric and we're going to offset the right work plane. And I'm gonna put it somewhere where I want the middle of my little rowboat to be. I'm gonna call this middle plane. And we're gonna do a new sketch on the middle plane. And just to kind of make a slightly smaller version, I'm going to grab, oops, hang on, using the offset tool to grab these lines. And we're just going to slightly make this boat smaller as we wait, work our way to the front of the bow here. So middle, okay. Back to isometric view, and one more offset plane. And we'll call this one front plane. And pull it to where I want the front of the boat. Ah, somewhere around here. And then again, we'll make a new sketch on our new plane. I'm going to offset the middle sketch here. Oops, not mirror. Offset the middle sketch here. And we're going to make the front significantly smaller, kind of almost like a little speedboat. And call this one front. And exit our sketch. Now, again, using the loft tool, I can go ahead and create a body or a model between these sketches that we just drew. So if I select the back, then the middle, then the front, Onshape is going to go ahead and draw our boat. And if I use something like the shell tool, which was demonstrated in a previous video, I can go ahead and hollow out this boat, like so.